G'day folks, it's DIY Guy 123 here bringing you another do it yourself video. Today we're talking about diagnosing a clutch safety switch. If this switch goes bad, your tractor won't start. So I've got it all set up here. Basically, I've got my two leads of my meter on the two leads of the safety switch. Now, when you're not pressing the clutch and the switch is extended like that, it should be overload or open circuit. But when I press this in like that, that switch should go to zero ohms and it's going anywhere from 16 to 20 mega ohms, which is not good. So basically that switch is, uh, is open and it needs to be closed. Now, if we look at the brand new switch behavior, again, it's open circuit, but watch what happens when I press the clutch. See the meter reading goes to zero and now, well, pretty close to zero, two ohms. When I release the switch, it goes back to open circuit. I'll press it again, press in the clutch, zero. So that's the diagnosis of this switch. It's a pretty simple uh, installation. Right here, that's where the switch lives, right where my finger's moving. And the switch goes face down. Basically, it goes face down like this, and it's got a lock nut, two lock nuts, right, two nuts, and basically they lock up against this little bracket. Well, you adjust those lock nuts to position this, this switch higher or lower, depending on your clutch. So what I'm gonna do is just get it in place, put the lock nut on the bottom, and you've got pretty, I've got pretty good access because I have the steering apart already. You may not have that access unless you take the steering apart, but it's kind of an unnecessary disassembly on, on your end just to replace this. Come on. Okay, so to adjust, to adjust this, I've got the clutch pedal tied forward all the way. So it's as if the pedal's pressed as far as it'll go. And now, you want to have this clutch switch pushed down all the way and compressed as far as it'll go. And when you do that, the, the switch will disengage when you've pressed the clutch. So that is how you install the switch. Now, of course, the wires, you've got to hook them up the same as they disconnected, right? You've got one wire that goes to the starter solenoid and another wire that goes up to the ignition, but I'm not gonna cover that. Just plug them in where they where the, the old wire's unplugged. Okay, so that's how the clutch sensor switch is installed. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Good luck with your do-it-yourself videos, bye.